Hi guys, uh, this is Alison from Foresight Institute and I would like to invite you to Vision Weekend, our annual member gathering this year. Um, so usually Vision Weekend, our annual member gathering is held in San Francisco. But this year for the first time, we are coming to Europe as well. So if you go on foresight.org, you should find our Vision Weekend page up there. And here you can find basically the page that I'll walk you through now. But sometimes it's nicer to have uh, someone actually tell you what's happening. Okay, so usually uh, we are in San Francisco at the Internet Archive. This year we'll be in San Francisco at the Internet Archive on December 4 and 5. Um, uh, and we'll also move to a rocket company, a ship, uh, and a few very, very interesting private locations throughout this weekend. Uh, and then we'll move into cyberspace and we'll descend uh, into France, um, which is in a beautiful castle just outside of Paris, um, about a 90 minutes drive. And um, we will have our Europe gathering. So um, this came about because Fawcett has been Bay Area based first, but then when we moved everything online during COVID, we got a bunch of you from around the world joining. And so now we want to meet this community globally. And what better way uh, is that than to start um, the holiday festiv festivities altogether? What will we do? Well, we are going to celebrate this year's successes in our different technology groups. And so we have the Biotech and Health Extension Group, Reverse Aging and Improved Cognition, here we have fantastic US lineup and fantastic lineup in France. Lots of people that uh, I think you know and um, and have potentially appreciated listening to uh, over the uh, over the year uh, in the Fawcett ecosystem. Uh, the same holds true for molecular machines. So this is better control of matter. Um, and here we have a fantastic lineup as well with lots of our fellows, our Feynman Prize winners, and lots of folks that uh, you should be familiar with through our keynote presentations. The same for our intelligent cooperation group. Uh, again, lots of people joining at the intersection between decentralized computing um, and AI. And uh, we'll have, I think, quite some interesting um, cross-disciplinary overlap here. Um, and finally, we have the existential hope bucket, which is our bucket for all the technologies that don't fit into our main programs on biotechnology, molecular machines, and computing. Uh, and this is newer technology, energy, and space, including innovating and scientific innovation. And so here we have a few a variety of really fantastic presenters and are just trying to figure out how to chart uh, the types of technologies that uh, are not so easily um, bucketed but that will become really important um, pretty soon and um, how we chart a positive uh, path to them. So in a nutshell if you're into those technologies and if you're into having a good time at fantastic venues we invite you to join. Um, we will be uh, launching with more of an interactive uh, panel style format on the Saturdays and then um, um, go into group breakouts on the Sundays. If you want a little bit more info, I invite you to check out our slide presentation. It has uh, the history of Foresight and then a few screenshots of our really beautiful venues um, and uh, both in the US and in France. Uh, it has the program with our presenters all in one place and different options of how to join. Um, we will also launch a cyberspace layer throughout the next year, so you'll be able to stay in contact. Because the cool thing is that now that we have a global community that is in both locations, uh, it is also uh, still very, very, very much uh, connected via the cyberspace layer. So if that's interesting to you, then please uh, join us. Uh, we're going to have a pretty fantastic time, I think, and uh, in addition to hopefully um, charting out where those technologies can go, um, we will also have a little bit of fun. I think what makes this community special to me is really that all sides members uh, are really transdisciplinary. So we really, uh, I think, uh, agree and uh, and I look and look forward to technologies not happening at the uh, in different silos, but very much at the intersection of different technological strands on the long run. And in addition to that, we're also a transgenerational. All that has existed for thirty years or thirty plus years, and now we have just grown a really fantastic. Um, younger community uh, into our midst. And finally, uh, Foresight members are now really uh, transnational. So wherever you are in the world, you're already joining our cyberspace programs, or at least you're watching our videos, clearly. Uh, and so uh, if that's you, and if you want to meet those people in person, then there's no better way, I think, to do that than at this, this year's Vision Weekend. So I would, again, invite you to check out the website. There are different tickets for US, for the France event, they both come with fantastic, uh, with a fantastic programming in the evening that is um, that, that that you won't regret having joined. Uh, but if you want to apply for income support tickets, we have that too. So we are really happy that we can subsidize a few tickets 
um, that uh, allows talent to join that could not otherwise be here. So if you're into um, sci-fi and if you're into making sci-fi real, uh, not the negative dystopian kind, but the existential hope kind, then this meeting and this community may be for you. And I look forward to seeing you in both events because I'm not the only one who will start in San Francisco and then travel to the France one. So feel free to join in either location or both. Thanks for your time.